Uh, I wanted to do this for a while. I wanted to read a review on the psychiatrist that injured me in numerous ways. I'll try to leave out her last name because I'm not sure how that works with YouTube and doing bad reviews on people. Not sure the legalities of that, so I'm going to use her first name. And this woman injured me numerous times in various ways. Um, and I can list the, those off afterwards, but with m misdiagnosis, polydrugging for disorders I never had, overdose, overdosing me numerous times with too many respiratory depressants, injuring me, uh, I got three abdominal tears from a drug that she gave me that she w wouldn't hold back on, kept on raising the dose even though I insisted my gut, my body can't handle this. Literally, I got three abdominal tears. Ten years later, I am have another referral with a surgeon to see what, what his uh, damage is actually ha ha happening. And now there are lumps growing in that area. That's literally from an antidepressant. Misdiagnosis uh, diagnosed me with some sleep disorder that I never had. It was actually horrific side effects from a drug that I was sleepwalking, sleep eating, sleep cooking. I know that sounds minimal, but this severely affected my life. And she literally was unable to say that I was suffering from the side effects from a drug that she was giving me and raising the dose and misdiagnosed it as some, you know, rare sleep disorder. And it was directly as a result. And I suffered for years like a dog and critically sleep deprived from the side effect from that drug. It's it amazes me how years later, even 10, 15 years later, a doctor can't tell the truth about what they've done. They will make up things about a patient years later just to cover up the things that they've done. It, it, it amazes me that the priority isn't the patient's health. The priority is to, you know save save face save your own reputation cover up the, the errors that you've made we all make mistakes cover up the the errors that you've made and you know continue to badmouth a patient 10 15 20 years later to to you know instead of diplomatically saying you know I've made a mistake whatever I want to read you this one woman's review on this doctor, and I'll use this doctor's first name. And I'm using this as an illustration because it's a lot like, I think, what she's doing to many women, um, disabling them with pharmaceuticals and basically taking away their lives. And this, it sounds like an adult daughter, and, and I like the way she articulates it quite well. I'm not sure where to begin with this doctor, bunny ears, a quotation marks around doctor. Uh, doctor Heather is awful. My mom has been going to her for years and I kept, I kept seeing my mother get worse and worse and bring home another medication and another and another, leaving my 105 pound mother on nine different prescription drugs taking each prescription several times a day. One medication alone, she has my mother taking six times a day. Well, let's fast forward to today. My mother now can barely walk, stuttering, severe weight gain, loss of balance, tremor, tremors in her leg, dropped face, drooped face, and the list goes on. There, This is a woman who was active and at the gym every day, all caps, ate healthy, doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and went to her for anxiety and depression. Well, this is where it got my mom. Unable to do anything she enjoys anymore. Won't leave the home because she is so emb embarrassed of herself. I have a hard time using the term doctor in front of Heather's name. She is far from it. She is making her patients 
drug addicts and is basically their drug dealer. Heather, if you're reading any of these reviews, I want you to know this. Not only have you taken away so much from your patients, literally leaving them empty shells, you are taking away from their family also. You are taking away a grandmother from her grandchildren. You are taking away a mom from her kids, a wife from her husband, a friend from someone who has had a normal tight friendship with her for 20 plus years. There's no denying my mother was mentally ill, yes, but we would take her depression and anxiety any day than what you have left us with. And then to go on to an extensive leave and not having a replacement for your very ill patients, quotation marks, very ill patients, all caps, this needs to stop, exclamation, exclamation. Everyone who has written a bad review, we need to take, we need to make a difference. We need to come together, all caps, we need to make a change, exclamation, exclamation. I'm reaching out for other families to please get in touch with me. We can share our stories and we can make a positive impact together. This was written months ago by a doctor that harmed me in many more ways than I even mentioned to you briefly here. And... I wish we could. I wish I could get uh, in touch with this woman. I've tried to by writing my own review, but there's no way of reaching her. And there's no people really don't check back with these reviews. That's not what normal people do. But my point here is that this is what it's. This may might be this doctor's mo by polydrugging and literally disabling p- people and then leaving them in that condition, and stealing their lives. But this r- rings true for a lot of psychiatrists. There's a lot of misdiagnosing. There's a horrendous polydrugging. The lying on and the lying that was done to me by this doctor on and on. And I would ask again and again. Am, is this going to be addictive? Am I going to have to wean off? Am I going to get stuck on this drug? You know, just what this woman illustrated, she will get you, your body dependent on so many drugs, and then you're screwed. You're literally taking nine medications. You're stuck on them. You're made to believe that you can't get off them. And... I bet you this woman was told that she has disorders that she doesn't have. (coughs) The daughter, I'm assuming it's a daughter, could be a son, is, you know, only mentions anxiety and depression a few times. I bet you anything, I might be wrong, I bet you anything this, this patient probably has complex PTSD and has been misdiagnosed as bipolar. But how was this you? And how often do we hear of this scenario? I think this review of this psychiatrist is a perfect illustration of what doctors are doing to many people. And this doctor did the exact same thing to me and much more.